Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today's got, oh, this fr my fruit tree's got so much fruit on it this year that uh, it's busting. So when these limbs get too big, you basically got to cut them. Otherwise, the fruit will pull the tree down. Anyway, uh, so I buy bottled water, and then what I do is I mineralize it. And so this is, you can see in here, this is the sea moss that I mineralize, I remineralize mineralize it with. So that's one of the things that I do. And the thing is, is once you soak the sea moss in there for, uh, you know, like a week or so, I mean, it's almost digestible. And the thing is, is if you make like whatever, cinnamon or hot cider thing, that sea moss will pr pretty much melt and it's just like goes down really, really well. So I don't know if you're a sea moss fan or not, but somebody turned me on to it, and uh, I immediately felt some effects. And once you once you've done it, you don't normally feel the effects because your body becomes mineralized. I guess I'm, that's my my theory. I'm just you know crackpot scientist, right? So um, I call it MacGyver technology. And so a couple of things here. What I do is I'll buy the bottled water, and then I'll I'll, I'll dilute this with. Uh, Usually what I do is I will ferment it first. So I'll dilute it with a little bit of water that adds some natural bacteria to it and will help it ferment faster. Um, mix the water in with it. Let it set for about five days out of the sun in a semi-warm place with the lid sort of unloosened. Um, because if it expands, it expands too much, if it starts fermenting, you're going to get this. This is basically the, the original natural soda, right? Because this is going to have the bubbles in it and everything when it starts to ferment. And so, uh, I've been doing this probably, mm, I mean, like five years or something. And I've also made the, the water kefir, which I used to like. It was kind of an intensive process when, you know, when you got your job and family kind of thing happening. And it's like, yeah, what, how much time do you have? to devote to making water kefir or kombucha or whatever you're making right so and you got to keep on top of that stuff or it kind of goes south right so uh the thing about this is when you ferment the juice um you know you, you can basically put it in the refrigerator and not worry about it too much right it will eventually turn it turns flat and it's like not as tasty but what I've been doing lately, and then this this has got, I let it ferment first, so that's got the, whatever the sea moss in, St. Lucia, or whatever it is, sea moss. So, and like I say, once you let it, I let the juice ferment first, then I put it in, because it may not ferment with that, um, with the uh, sea moss in it. And then the thing is, is if you want to slow the fermentation down, you can add like ginger to it. Um, I've also added like, uh, you know, microalgae like uh, spirulina and things like that. And when you add spirulina, um, chlorella and things like that, it, it's like, it shortens, it sh shortens the lifespan of the tasteability to it. Now these are not organic, you know, it's like, you know, with the economy and everything, it's like, you know, what are you going to do? And ideally what you'd want to do is transfer these out of the plastic bottles into glass bottles. Um, if you're concerned about the plastic. Um, so I, I've gotten lazy and I've left, uh, let them ferment in the plastic. Sometimes it will actually, if you let it go too bad, it'll actually, you can taste plastic at that point. I'll dump it. Give it to the plants, right? So, uh, oh, speaking of plants, I had these guys come up here. These are, I've already harvested two of these big puppies. These are, uh, oh, there's some sort of agaricus, I believe. And I've eaten these before, and I've actually started them. Because I gathered them from another place in the neighborhood and brought them over here and that they've been popping up every once in a while this is may because this is uh end of may and they're popping up you know it's like weird right so anyway but yeah this that poor tree that tree back there had so much fruit on it that it lost a major i mean like half the tree almost well at least a third of that tree so anyway back to this stuff here <coughs> 
So I buy the purified water. I used to go to the Crystal Springs, but I'm whatever the victim of the economic uh, relapse, reset bullshit, right? So uh, this Crystal Springs is, was an artesian well. So the artesian well is, is, a, is a locked body of water. It's locked in with whatever rock formations where it's like pristine, pure, back in history, preserved kind of thing water well right that's what an artesian well is basically an artesian theoretically so anyway yeah these are like I was like 750 plus tax what has happened to this one is it's got a crack a little crack in the bottom so what you're gonna do and you want to empty the bottle and then you're gonna rough it up a little bit you can take a heat gun heat it up and what I do so I use the E6000, cover it up, and then you can also put tape over it. And then let it dry out really well uh, before you put water in it, because what happens is, if you put water in it before this stuff dries, you're going to taste the E6000 in the water. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, so, yeah, here's your, what do they call it? Jailhouse uh, liquor, right? Okay, have a good one. Okay, here's one of these agaricus that uh, it was actually fairly big and it's been dried. What I do is uh, I'll take them and uh, I'll let them dry out in the sun and then I'll stick them in my car on the dashboard and then they'll get crispy. And then if you still have some, you can also take, what I did is when I set it down, I set it on paper and then when you set it down on paper, when you first pick it, I, I always cut the stem rather than pull the whole thing up. When you set it down on paper, you take the paper and you'll notice that the brown spores have dropped. And you can take the paper and then bury it in little various places in your in your yard. And uh, so this, this is where I cut one of these off. You can see it's cut here. Um, and then this one here, if you take it out with a little bit of water, you're trying to and then trying to grow these things a little bit and you just moisten the soil around there a little bit and you'll notice that guy will actually grow like the next day it'll probably be I mean fairly noticeably bigger um, this one here it's, it's kind of dried out the soil is really dried out this is this is May soil these are actually those little fruits those are Oh, this is the windfall uh, plum, cherry plums, right? So anyway, yeah, if you want to increase your natural uh, uh, mushroom uh, action, just add a little water, and uh, you'll find that you get a bigger, uh, bigger fruits.